Right there, Greg 12, we're back in the How to Hack Your Pet series. We've only got four more drawings remaining. This video will zoom in on the two elevations that's required as part of your pet. And of course, the last three videos will discuss the detailed section. We're going to look at the actual site plan as well as a two point perspective. All right, so let's get going on the two elevations. It sounds quite easy, but this is more complex than you can imagine. So let's take a look at what is specified. You have to draw two elevations to the same scale as the actual floor plan, which for most of you will be one to 100. Then one of the views must show the front entrance, okay? And the other showing a side view of the building, including that timber deck that you designed, in relation to the slope of the stand. Now this here is going to be the catch on the second view, is that slope of the stand. I'm going to show you in a moment how to determine that. Then please note that the, draw, the elevations that you're drawing now is going to be required for the perspective. So when we do our perspective lastly, you're going to actually use these two elevations. Okay, of course, including the following on all relevant views, you have to go through this list and make sure that you include all that is required uh, as part of that. And if we look at the actual uh, checklist for you, this is included there. So make sure, first of all, that those two elevations are numbered 5.1.2. You're going to have then two elevations that shows one the front entrance, the other one the side view, including the timber decks, all right, that we've got down. Right, those are the two prescribed views, one out of ten if you get that right. Okay, then the external walls must be shown and all other external features, the finished floor level, um, your deck, etc. Including the slope of that stand, that does be indicated, which I will show you now. You'll have to include the door and window detail. Please do not forget here the actual um, window sill. A lot of you keep forgetting that. Include the door and the window frame. So there you're going to have to include the frames, that's a double line at the windows, which I will show you, your roof detail, which the, include the barge board, the fascias, the downpipes, including rainwater items, your wastewater disposal system, the sewer, I'll show you an example of that, and then make sure that these elevations are drawn to the same scale as your floor plan. If you check all of these out, you're going to get 10 out of 10. Now let's jump back quickly to the actual pad document, because I want to go to the stand here, the site plan, there we have it, just going to zoom out a little bit. All right, so if you look at this, here's a couple of important things. First of all, the northern arrow, all right, which means that if I enter from Blessbox Street, that's the view that they want as your main elevation, that's going to be your northwest elevation, okay. Then one of your side views, which will be either your northern east or the south, southwestern elevation, they will have to be drawn keeping in mind the actual contour lines. That's what they refer to with regard to the slope of that stand. Because if you look at this contour, it's at 445 above sea level. The last one here is at 440. So there's about a five meter drop and that's going to influence definitely your side elevation because this is roughly where you have placed your your actual new development. Okay, so keep that in mind. I'm going to go to the paper and show you a little bit more what I mean with this, as well as give you some practical examples. Let's get going. Radio. so here we have an example of previous year's elevation requirements. Remember, it's a different project than yours, but there's some things that we can take from this. Okay, remember, of course, first of all, your border, your little title block here, which is going to be, of course, your minimum requirements here is your name, page number, uh, title of this, okay? And then you're going to have two elevations drawn to the same scale as your actual floor plan. Now the difference with this is, in, in, in this year's example, it was really on a flat piece of ground. We didn't have any elevation here with regard to contours. So let's just look at the actual example of the elevation. This was in that case the south, ele south elevation. We've got our finished floor level, natural ground level, we've got the rainwater downpipes, we have our barge boards, our fascia boards, 
um, the door frames, the door windows with their openings, and the windowsill direction of opening. And we've got some measurements here. Now, I think this could have been a bit more complete. I'll show you another example in a moment. And then below that, we've got our southern elevation, again, with the same requirements, and they added some height here. It's this side elevation that's going to be a bit different when we get to your guys' drawing. Before we do that, let me show you one more elevation example. Let's zoom in here because this is really a quality elevation and if you're aiming for that upper marks of 90 and above this is going to be a better ex example of what is required. So if you look at this we've got different key heights indicated on the left hand side. It's clearly numbered exactly like you would do. Yours will be 5.12 I believe. What type of elevation and the scale there. And then they've gone ahead and they've in that all the different roofing details, the reach plate, the barge boards, your gutters, downpipe. Okay, on here the actual doors are also numbered which is a great idea according to your schedule. The finished floor level, again key heights, natural ground level is also going to be part of that. All right, that's a, a nice detailed example also for your reference. Okay, okay. here's one more example. I think this is important to also note in this example. If you are going to have sewer on your uh, elevation, that's going to be your main one, right? It's very important to indicate those sewer details. All right, so here's the pipe coming out of the bathroom area. You show the inspection eye. You've got your uh, fall to your manhole for your actual drainage, sewage drainage. So make sure you add this also in if you, in your views that you've chosen, have any sewer of bathrooms, uh, zincs, etc., against that wall on your, I think it's a northwest elevation, make sure you do enter your sewer details similar to what it is shown here. The window opening is nice and clearly shown, window sill, any hand railing, direction of your steps, etc. So there's a couple of examples, but your challenge is the actual fall of the site. Right, so to get your elevation right for either your southwestern elevation or your northeastern elevation you're going to have to come up with a simple diagram similar to what i've done here and all i've done is i've almost done a section through our site that's the plan that i want to come up with here and so on my horizontal scale i've got just exactly as on the site plan i'm starting with off with my southeastern boundary at 419 meters above sea level then i've got indicated the 30 meter building line that's this representation here we've got our municipal sewer line and it's in between these two of course in this area where you're actually going to build your development and then we've got our northwestern boundary line okay and then i've indicated the different contours i specify roughly around about here it's at 420 425 430 so with this scale and then my vertical scale which is actually my contours if I connect all of this, I'm going to get a very clear indication of what that elevation looks like. And this is the purpose of this exercise. So how we do that is we start ourselves off here, just bringing this down. 419 is roughly around about there. I'll make a nice clear dot. 420, if I bring that down, that one is clear. 425 is going to be in line with 425. And we're going to just continue plotting our actual elevation okay once you've done this you can now take um, Okay, once you've, once you've done this, you can take your ruler and we can go in and we can join all of these together. Okay, I'm going to just take my red pen just to highlight them for you. So this is the actual elevation. If we would cut through our site, of course the lines aren't always that straight when you're actually out on the site. But you can see here that if I enter from the road, I've got a little bit of a dip you know, leading up to the area where we're going to have our actual deck and, deck and our new development. And then it comes down 
to our river area. I'll just color this in green as if we've got a river here at the bottom. Our, our entire development must be within our building line and the municipal sewer on the side. So if we just do, do a rough drawing here, we're going to have our deck on the one side. We've got our natural ground line or natural floor level, sorry, coming around here. Okay, finished floor level. Let's have our deck here. Part of that, 50% of that deck must be covered. Okay, there's our pitch roof. Just as a quick indication, there's our actual deck here. Um, this here would be our finished floor level. So that gives you some indication of what your, one of your side views would look like. Right, we have our raised deck that we will stand on. The roof will be covering 50% of that deck. Then you're going to have the full elevation. Our finished floor level will roughly be around about this height. So you will have to include in your elevation, it's this part here. And now what you can do is, once you've done an exercise like this, you can just copy this. If this is drawn to scale, you can actually copy your different distances here. Okay, and your width is 35. Okay, and that will help you when you actually go to draw your elevation. Okay, to then plot it so that you have the correct slope indicated on your elevation which will have an effect on how yours looks uh, compared to the ones that was done previously. Right here, that's an overview of your two elevations. Now it's your turn.